Oh, okay, folks. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to talk about leak search. I have people give me a call. They'll say, hey, Dave, I, my Freon's leaking. I don't know where to find it. And I always tell them there's three places a refrigerant leak can occur. That's in the condenser. It's in the line set. Or this in the evaporator coil. Three places. So the best thing to do is isolate all three places. I just want to show you this is the product my technician's already been here and left. And I'll go through a, a better way to do the leak search, but you technicians and you savvy uh, individuals that catch on very fast will figure this out. But I want to show you what we've done here. What we've done, we went up to the air handler and we cut the air handler loose and we looped the liquid line and the suction line together, okay? You, now we got a test port here. I want you to see this. So he's soldered in this end, and he's soldered this end, he's put a test port. What we've done here, I want you to look, we've pumped it up with nitrogen up to about 300 pounds PSI, okay? So now I know this line set has 300 pounds of nitrogen on it, and we're going to leave it for about 24 hours. I want you to look at the condenser here. He actually has soldered in the condenser. He soldered in this right here, and he's put another test gauge on it. Right here, you just put it in because it's going to fill up the whole uh, condenser. 300 pounds psi. Okay, so so what he's done, soldered both ends, put the uh, test port on it, and pushed it up to 300 pounds psi. Now I'm going to take you up in the attic. I'm going to show you what we've done to the evaporator coil. Okay, here's what we've done here. I want to show you what I've done to the line set inside. See how I told you I looped it? All we did was tie it together. And we do have 300 PSI on that line set. Now I want you to look at what we've done to the coil. We've sweated and soldered in the liquid line side. And we put the test port in the suction side. Once again, 300 pound PSI. Folks, if you do this type of work, you've got to make sure for the homeowner's sake and for your sake so you don't have no callbacks, is to know where the line set, the coil, or the condenser where the leak is. Let me hand you this. Okay, so if you got any questions on where to find leaks in these refrigeration systems, just give me a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.